Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is your boy, D Crypto Siege, with another day in the life and the crazy life that is the digital asset space. What's going on, guys? It's great to get on here and share some really, really interesting news. Absolutely interesting news. So happy um, Monday. I hope you enjoy this article. I think it's pretty interesting. It's a little fun, but it's pretty, it's pretty interesting as well. So guys, listen, this is your XRP Ripple daily news in zero to 10 minutes. Let's do this. 50 million XRP has been moved between three large trading platforms and the Japanese BitBank. Three platforms and the Japanese BitBank. XRP price has strong signs of growth. So this is from As Coin News in Cryptocurrency We Trust. And the author is uh, Selena. So Network XRP has just appeared a considerable just appeared a considerable trade with a total value of $13,790,820, equivalent to 50 million XRP. 50 million XRP, Binance, Huobi, and BitBank. I don't know why I'm having time to speak in nowadays. Because XRP is one of the most popular cryptocurrencies, the large transactions made with it attracted a lot of public attention. This time, the XRP Ledger Monitor has detected four, detected four transfers with a total of 50 million XRP. The first transaction came from Binance, and it was transferred to Huobi. The second transaction from BitThumb is transferred to another wallet on BitThumb. It was a bit hum. The third transaction also switches from BitBank to BitBank, the final transaction goes from one, not, uh, one anonymous wallet to another. Don't you love the XRPL monitor? There it is, sender's balance. Sender's balance, I think, is pretty interesting. 34,105,598 XRP. Okay, so this was 15 million. Amount was 15 million XRP. Balance, receiver, receiver, uh, different thing there. Receiver, receiver's balance. Interesting. Then there's the second one, 5 million XRP, or another one, I should say. And it's probably, uh, yeah, different wallets there. And then this one was uh, 20 million XRP. I kind of love the XRPL monitor. And I think you can actually click on these and learn who they actually belong to, but we are we got we got that already in the beginning, right? So there they are there. Gotta love that. Gotta love that we can to, to this day and age we can just learn whatever we want to learn, we can figure it out. We can figure it out to get the information, right? Ripple's milestones in 2020 so far. This year, Ripple has made a few key moves. Brad Garling helps mentions an IPO that may occur this year. Even then, he claimed that he was misunderstood a lot. <laughs> Furthermore, Garlinghouse was first interviewed with Julie Chatterley on, of CNN. This could suggest that Ripple is, on the, is the only cryptocurrency company to date that has received considerable interest outside of the cryptocurrency community. Right, okay, that's another article there. Besides... Ripple is included in the top 100 cross-border payment companies. Yes, they were. It's pretty exciting. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt to have a $10 billion valuation either. XRP price has, has definite signs of growth. So this is kind of an interesting thing. We'll see how it is. At the peak in last week, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP, and smaller altcoins have had some fluctuations. XRP has been stuck by the pullback, dropping from several month highs above 34 cents to a low of 22.6 cents during Wednesday's sell-off, liquidating millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin's position on BitMEX and other leverage exchanges. Despite a 25% retreat from the price of the third largest cryptocurrency, analysts remain optimistic, offering some indicators that the bulls may soon return to XRP, so this is some guy um, at IRN Crypt XRP. This would be nice. Okay, that's an interesting chart there. Well-known crypto commentator CJ, how about that? 
recently commented that the chart setup shows a strong breakout for possible price rise soon. In this chart, he described the fact that XRP has been building a bearish wedge pattern for the past two weeks, often without breaking the uptrend. The wedge CJ pulled out at the top of the demand area, which may act as a support zone, is about 24 cents, adding to the potential for the wedge to break. Uh, something the analysts proposed to take. XRP to 35 cents. All right, someone else says the XRP price con consolidates around 27 cents when analysts keep an eye on the head and shoulders pattern, okay? Some kind of head and shoulders pattern from somebody. So at press time, the price of XRP is trading around 28 cents, make, uh, marking a noticeable decline from the weekly high of uh, 32 cents that was set earlier this week. From this point, XRP saw some indiscriminate trading before rising to a top of 31 cents on Wednesday, which is when the synthetic cryptocurrency market witnessed an intense sell-off caused by Bitcoin flash crash from 10,200 to 9,200. Peter Brandt, a well-respected veteran trader and analyst, talked about XRP in a recent tweet explaining that it is likely that cryptocurrencies are forming a top-off price and the highest shoulders having, uh, having could lead uh, to as low as 20 cents in the near term. It will be interesting to see if this head and shoulder top plays out, says Peter Brandt. If so, the target would be 20 cents, 0 0.7, 20.71 cents. This tweet poses a possibility. This is not a prediction, says Peter Brandt. The bearish head and shoulder pan, uh, pattern Brandt reference is not the only thing currently against XRP, as there is a multitude of other technical factors that suggest that the next loss could be imminent. Cold-blooded Schiller, a well-known crypto analyst and trader, talked about these factors in a recent tweet pointing out, pointing to the increasing resistance, and recently it was formed lower that than two in a number of these factors. It was formed lower than two in a number of these factors, okay. Isn't XRP just the easiest HDF short right now? Weekly lower, weekly lower high, weekly SFP, weekly resistance. What am I missing aside from pure hopium? Okay. Interesting chart. The price action will likely depend in part on Bitcoin, as any other BTC drawback will probably confirm this price drop and potentially cause XRP and other altcoins to suffer significant losses. So we shall see. Rank right? number three, currently 28 cents. So there it is, there, guys. So interesting chart stuff. Now, from what I'm seeing, uh, what I've been hearing from um, some kind of other TA guys that I kind of trust in the space, uh, one is Alessio Rastani. He says tomorrow, the 24th, is really important for Bitcoin to close above $10,020, $24. Really important to do it by tomorrow, the 24th, at close of business. He gives some leeway as 27th, as the latest. Uh, obviously, it would be more bullish or more signs of an uptrend if it did it by the close of business tomorrow. So we shall look for that and, and kind of see what Bitcoin does tomorrow by the close of uh, business. So that'll be interesting to see. In any case, uh, the main thing to really look at is your if you if you're predominantly altcoins, you want to look at that Bitcoin dominance, see where they where it lies, um, right? Versus the altcoin dominance. When they flip flop, that's when we know things are about to happen. So, guys, 50 million XRP has been moved between three large trading platforms and the Japanese bank, which is called Japanese Bit Bank. So there it is there. You saw the transactions. I think that's pretty cool that you can see that. So what's about to take place is, 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 is uh, Mr. Yoshi Takakatao and SBI uh, Asia, are they getting ready to kind of do their thing? What is going on? And we did. It's hard to say, but we shall see. Transfer from Binance and to Huobi is an interesting transaction, uh, to, say the, to say the least. So we shall see. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. We'll see who's preparing for what kind of move. Stay excited, guys. Never forget this thing. 
number one thing is, listen, you're playing a game. You and I, we're playing a game that the masses don't even know is being played, and we're winning. So, guys, I hope you understand that this is a head up, shoulders back and head up moment for you because you're early. You're an early adopter in this digital asset space, and I hope you get that. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to wrap up this video like I do all my videos and remind you of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.